Welcome back, everyone. Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me back to another episode of Music with Nick. Today, we got an interesting marathon lined up. I've never heard of this band. Um, this is a request by Dave um, uh, or DJ, as I also know him um, as DJ. And uh, Dave um, uh, requested a band here that's called, um, give me one second, I got it right here, Larkin Poe. And they're two sisters, and he did provide me here with some information. Give me one second. I had it pulled up right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, change it up a little bit. I'm going to um, play the video first so I can see what they look like. And I think that's a great idea that Dave um, you know, mentioned here. Um, we're going to start it off with... Um, Give me, give me a second with this first song um, called, give me one second here. This is called Weight in the Water from 2015. And uh, I think this is a great idea just to get a feeling for uh, these two sisters. And then we're going to play three songs audio from Spotify. And then we're going to finish it off with another called Trouble in My Mind, another video on YouTube. So I think that way we're going to get you know, a taste of what these two um, girls are about. And um, I wanted to look here if there was more information on them uh, because Dave did, you know, fill me in a little bit. Now, I, I love to do these, of course, very blindly. I don't want to know too much. Um, but um, just the fact that they are, let's see here. Um, uh, they're from Georgia, sisters, and then the name Larkin Poe was their great, great, great grandfather's name, who was cousin to Edgar Allan Poe. So that's crazy. So that I didn't know. So that's kind of nice to know. Um, wow. Okay. Well, let's go here with the uh, Larkin Poe. Rightly deserved to have that name. And uh, we're just going to, you know, continue. Usually I cut the video because I uh, do something, but I'm just going to pull up this here real quick. Give me a second. I do have to have it here in front of me, the video. And I just had it here, the, the YouTube. Wait a second. That's why, you know, that's why I, I uh, pause. It says I'd be right back because that's what I do. Um, I prepare for everything. So I think we're going to listen to, let's see, Wait in the Water. Here we go. We got it here. Let's pull it up here. And here we go. So let me move a little bit over. And then also, very important, the headsets. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't. There we go. All righty, all ready to go. And here we go with uh, Wade in the Water, Lark and Poe. Here we go. Boom. Nice. 
about these girls is amazing um their presentation um you know the, their stage presence um just awesome you know um the, the, the guitar i think i don't know if it's a normal guitar i think it is a slight guitar because the sound and everything it just looks too thick i don't know i could be wrong you know i uh, i don't really i'm not so familiar with slide guitars but it sounds amazing i mean just like the one that you know, David Gilmer uses um, a lot in uh, when he plays live or when he records. But now what I don't know is what the uh, girl in black um, is playing. I don't know if you could fill me in. Um, this um, when when we went to Munich, we went to this Deutsche Museum. This is one of the largest museums in, in Europe. And there was this section all about instruments. I saw instruments I've never seen in my life. It's Im amazing. Uh, literally hundreds of instruments I'd never, like, literally seen ever in my life. Just string instruments and, oh my God. And I played stuff that it's just amazing. It just had, like, one string and it was, like, a frequency. But, well, it, but th there you see that you basically know nothing. Uh, so there's so many instruments that you just don't know, even though you're a musician and you're a guitar player. But hey, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stuff that we don't know. But musically, these girls are top notch. I mean, the singing is just amazing. The lead guitar, uh, the blonde um, is doing a phenomenal job. And she's, of course, the rhythm and her singing, the harmonies. Uh, the drummer, everything is good. Everything is uh, like amazing. Can't wait to show this to Alexa. She'll love uh, these girls, and maybe even it's gonna inspire her to. You know, Alexa has a lot of talent, but she, I, I guess she hasn't found her footing. You know, but maybe these girls would inspire her. I mean, they are inspiring me to just grab my instrument. You know, so let's continue with uh, "Wait in the Water." Great track, great idea to use these this video to open up the vision you know just now that i if i put on the the audio tracks i'm gonna be able to you know see much more um so let's continue this is great thank you so much dave for this very very cool let's go
gonna trouble the water. It's gonna trouble the water. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I would so go see them. I would so go see these two. Amazing stuff. Um, Give me just one moment and I'll be right back. All right. So there we have it. Um, You know, uh, Larkin Poe, we got a little taste. Now we're going to listen to them um, on Spotify. Um, uh, well, this was just amazing. I mean, I've never heard of these two, they're, but they're killing it, you know, vocally, pr like their whole presentation is wonderful. I mean, it's just great, you know, <laughs> visually, of course, they're both beautiful and they know how to play. So that just that, you know, is, I guess, a key to success. Um, um, but they really know how to play, you know, that this is what I like about female bands. Um, there's female bands who are, yes, they look the part, but then the music is just like not that good, but this is just amazing. I mean, these two are really, really killing it. So, um, we're going to play from, um, Blood Harmony, the album that came out in 2022. So pretty new, uh, even though the cover art looks very like 80s and i like that that they incorporated that um let's see how many albums they have so far well looks like they have so they started in 2013 wow so they've been around for a while so cool that's so crazy that i've never heard of them before um but yeah one two three four five six seven eight this is the ninth album let's see if these are complete yeah they're... wow so yeah they've been doing this a while oh this is okay so there's one remaster it's called reskinned i love it peach 2017 2018 yeah they've been like this is not just like a song or stuff that's amazing okay Okay, so let's give it up for their last album, Blot Harmony. And we're going to do two songs here. Uh, three songs, I'm sorry, requested by Dave. We're going to do Bad, Bad Spell. Um, and then we're going to do Strike Gold. And then the title tra track, Blot, Blot Harmony. So here we go. Hope you enjoyed. And then after that, we're going to play another video of them. Okay, so here we go. Bad Spell. <laughs> Like a yellow bee. Boy, you cast a bad spell, a bad spell over me. And when I catch you, you're gonna catch hell. I'ma get you in the first degree. Oh, it's a, a bad spell. Talking about. Take good care, I'ma get you, it's a guarantee Oh, it's a, a bad spell Talking about a, a bad spell Oh, a bad spell A bad spell on me Oh, you cast a bad spell
premonition And I don't wanna be right But I saw that black cat creeping on my front porch last night Cruising on my telephone when I hear that line go click I'm gonna light a single candle, y'all But you know I can't resist man that was amazing and now i know what that sound is uh that you know that uh steel guitar and but again great singing great vocals i love that they go into the you know register you know it's rock and roll man and it sounds like old rock and roll you know and that's what's so cool about it, it doesn't sound like to metal, you know, it sounds literally like from the 70s, you know, from the 70s or like from that time, the distortion is fuzzy, you know, it's not too distorted. It's not like, I don't know, like metal. It's It, it sounds like rock. That's what I like. And I'm a metal fan, but, you know, sometimes there's so many bands. Um, I don't know. There's so many metal bands. So sometimes when you hear something that sounds a little bit more antique, it's refreshing, you know, like Greta Van Fleet um, or stuff like that. You know, bands today that are trying to sound like bands, you know, from from the 70s and the 60s and stuff. And it, it, and it works. It just works because the, that old equipment had you know a certain charm you know when you listen to you know the technology that bands use nowadays like keyboards and stuff and you compare it to like you know one of those um machines that you know keith emerson was using it's just more i don't know there's something about the old stuff that just sounds more i don't know it just sounds not as it just sounds rougher. Like when I listen to Deep Purple, like, and you hear the organ instead of a, like a keyboard uh, nowadays. I don't know. There's just like something about those sounds or when you listen to Pink, you know, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon and you hear um, something like, um, man, I mean, every song, but uh, something, um, what's the fourth song? Um, oh, man. I don't remember. I can't remember. Um, uh, the um, the one with this. I don't know. I don't. Rem I don't recall. But let me look it up, because I want to give you that. Um, I can't believe I can't remember right now. Um, dark, dark side of the moon. It's the fifth song, not time. Great gig in the sky, like that. Those chords when they were playing them with the with that old keyboard you know sound uh it's just like different it just wouldn't sound the same with with new technology and i would always go for like you know um on guitar amps um they have to have those bulbs or what are they called um they're called bulbos in spanish so i don't know the the, the english word for it but yeah um this is just really a good um I like I like the the old sound. I've 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 grown to fall in love with it, you know. So when I hear something that sounds like Led Zeppelin or Deep Purple or you know Uriah Heep or Iron Butterfly, it's just like wow, you know. And when if you achieve that sound nowadays, it's just something special, you know. So I think these two girls have, you know, and that's really really cool. Um, let's see what it says about them here. Yeah, it's it's so crazy that they've done all these full full length albums, you know. And um, okay, but let's continue from the same album, Strike Gold. Here we go. <laughs>
like right here, like that harmony that they're doing, that sounds so original. And that the other one, you know, and together comes out beauty, you know, that's just, it has an older sound. It's like, like you know like led zeppelin um that that harmony guitar that they sometimes do because it's just one guitar player but they they have their you know i don't know their way of doing it it's so good <laughs> i'm like you're rambling here we go freaking good um one after the other so cool um let's see uh-huh and then all they're all multi instrumentalists rebecca and megan yeah it's yeah it has this ro rock and blues heavy sound I wanted to say that though there is a lot of blues in their sound you know it 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 has a lot of pentatonic scales and um but that's really refreshing that it doesn't have the the usual you know I don't know goth or like death metal or the dark you know I don't know there's so many bands that do that and especially bands with female singers and female um, players, it's more like gothic and death metal, dark. Um, I've never really heard a blues band of two sisters, so it's pretty cool, you know, pretty original. And and I love their, I really love their sound, man. It's so good. I love that they use this old equipment, you know, it just sounds so good. Okay, so last song of the um, that we're gonna react to from blood harmony and then we're going to see another video this is blood harmony so the title track here we go it's more western god gave mama a singing voice mama passed it down to me Clap your hands and stomp your feet if you 
This one had a more of a Western sound, um, literally like a Western vibe. Um, could be like, I don't know, part of a soundtrack. I love that intro. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen Firefly. It's about this. Um, it's like a sci-fi show. It's, and unfortunately, it was cut short. It only had one season. But that season is just amazing. And the intro is very much like it has like this Western, you know, feel. And it is more like it is a Western in space, this whole like um, this whole like concept of this show. And uh, but yeah, that's what I mean when I when I talk about a Western feel, it, it literally had like a Wild West, you know, feel. All right. So um, let's pull up the. Um, the last track, I, I have it already pulled up here. I'm ready. And uh, here we go. Let's pull it up. And there it is. Maybe let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, here we go. And here we go. With the uh, trouble in mind.
trouble in my trouble in my I got trouble in my yeah this is Audio Tree Live. We're here in the studio with Lark and Poe. Thank you all so much for being here. Awesome, man. Very, very cool. And yes, I mean, she has such a great singing voice. Oh, I can't. There it is. Um, uh, both of them. I mean, but I guess the, I was going to say again now, the brunette instead of the blonde. And I don't know <laughs> if they're both brunettes, but the one in the, the video that's uh, brunette uh she obviously she's the lead you know you can feel she's the front man but also that voice you know but also the other one the other sister and i did mention their names um she's just the lead guitarist you know and it's you know they always i'm i'm also like you know the lead guitarist in every band that i've ever been in and we're always we like to be in the back you know we like to be in the in the more not not so much on the front lights and I've done some backing vocals, but you know, not that, um, not that much. I don't know. I just enjoy to be in the back. And then when my solo comes in, you know, that's my, you know, I don't know, 30 or one minute or two, whatever the song is to shine. And then I go back. Um, but yeah, um, this is, this, what a great band. Um, so cool. I love seeing the bass player here as well. The drummer in the studio and you can just see that they're having a blast recording these tunes. And I love that they are, you know, like rock, blues, you know, country a little bit, you know, a little bit of a Western style. But you can see that they're influenced by, you know, 70s bands. She was wearing a Black Sabbath t-shirt, you know. Um, there was so much good music to to get inspired by, you know. Just going through, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I mean, there's so much good stuff. Um, so... Um, they're really, you know, they're doing a phenomenal job. I'm super happy, Dave. Thank you so much for the introduction. Let me know, everyone, what you thought of these two or these four, you know, in the band. Um, let me know what you think of, you know, Lark and Poe. And I think they're amazing. I wish them nothing but great success and, you know, to get bigger and and then, and because they're already so good, you know. But I mean, it's there's the music business is obviously not the same. So it's harder to get, you know the recognition and the concerts and the big venues, but I hope they get them because they really have the amazing talent and, and, you know, you can just see how much they enjoy playing. So it's awesome. So please let me know what you think. Please give the video a like if you liked it. Maybe if you, this is your first time, do subscribe to the channel if you like it, you know. Um, thank you so much for everything. Thank you, Dave, for requesting the marathon, you know, for... Um, uh, sponsoring the video. I do appreciate it so much and I see you guys in the next one.